what is a sitemap and do you actually need one for SEO? In this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about sitemaps and what role they play in SEO and actually getting your website to rank. So this is a sitemap that you're looking at on the screen here of one of my websites. If we go back, this is the main actual top level of the web of the sitemap. And then you've got like the post sitemap and the pages. Basically what a sitemap is, is a plain text format of all the URLs on the website. So the purpose of a sitemap is actually just to give Google's bot a very easy way to one, see all of the pages, posts, and so on on your website, and two, figure out what the hierarchy of these pages is. Because as you can see here, these are all the posts on my website, and you can see the hierarchy. You've got the main domain, then you've got the category, the subcategory, and then the name of the actual post itself. And so Google can crawl the website very, very easily when you give it a sitemap because it can see all of the different categories, all of the different pages, how everything fits together, and it just makes the bot's life a lot easier. And so what tends to happen with SEO is that when you make it easier for Google to crawl your website, figure out what's going on and all these other things, it, you tend to be rewarded with higher rankings overall. And so the idea behind the sitemap is just to give everything Google needs straight away with no fuss to it so that it can do what it needs to do and then you're going to be rewarded. So that's why you need a sitemap. Now, typically speaking, most SEO plugins, especially if you're doing WordPress, will have a sitemap automatically. Things like Shopify usually have a sitemap on their own as well. So usually it comes with most websites. Now, the way you can see if you have one is if you go to your URL and type in slash sitemap.xml and that will produce a page like this if you have one there. If you don't have one, then you might need to go and actually generate one, in which case you can go to Google and type in XML sitemap generator and click on this first one. This is a good one and you can click that and this will generate up to a certain number of few hundred pages. I can't remember what the limit is. Up to 500, here you go. So basically basically it'll, it'll do up to 500 pages for the free version. So what you would do is you just take your URL, you would paste it in here, you'd hit start and it'll just now crawl your website, make the sitemap of the 500 pages, spit out the XML file. And then you would just need to go into your file manager for your particular website that you want to upload it to. And you would go to the root folder, which is of the website itself. It's typically one, this one here. And you would just upload the sitemap here, the file that you got from the sitemap generator. And now you will have a sitemap on your website. So if you go back to sitemap.xml, like I said, once you've uploaded it, it should now show up here and that's how you know you've done it correctly. So then what you want to do is you want to take this URL, whatever the sitemap URL is, and you want to go into Google Search Console. So once you're in Google Search Console, you go down here to sitemaps and then you would put the URL in for the sitemap here and hit submit. And so then what happens is once you submit this, you're basically telling Google, here's my website, here's my sitemap, be aware that it exists. Here are all the pages, come crawl it. And so this makes, this lets Google know that you have a sitemap and you have the website website and then it's going to come crawl the website and then see what it discovers and then as a result index everything there if it chooses to so and you can see here once you've got the sitemap submitted it'll tell you what date it's been submitted when's the last time google read the sitemap what the status is and how many discovered pages google has found due to that sitemap so that's really it all you need to do is make sure you have a sitemap submit it to google search console and then you can just leave it there and then after that you just want to make sure that the sitemap is up to date so if you're using something like an seo plugin or Shopify, it'll keep it up to date. If you are doing it manually like this, then what you need to do is make sure that you update it fairly regularly, depending on how often you post new pages and posts on your site and make sure that you upload a new one all the time so that it remains updated with all the new URLs. Otherwise, Google won't necessarily see the new URLs you uploaded. So just keep that in mind. Otherwise, that's really it. It's a very simple process. That's all you really need to know about sitemaps. Now, if you want me to coach you on how to do SEO or Google ads for only $49 a month, go to Learn Dominate Marketing com and if you want someone who actually knows what they're doing to do your seo or google ads go to dominate marketing.io book a call with us there hope you guys enjoyed this one i'll catch you on the next one